Okay, this is Shadow Warrior, which is a, uh, a retro style uh, shoot 'em up slasher. Uh, it's currently in a Steam uh, daily deal, in the Steam sale. It will be till 6 o'clock tonight. It's uh, very cheap, 2 99 I think. Uh, I got this game in uh, Humble Bundle 14 and I did actually uh, cover it in my videos for that bundle towards the end, the last sort of uh, two minutes or so I think. Uh, it, basically the highlight of that bundle I think. Um, it was quite expensive normal price at the time, like 30 quid or something, and uh, in the bundle it, it came out as, you know, it, it was nine games for for 12 bucks or something, something like that, very cheap anyway. So it, it's a uh, an update of a 90s uh, beat-em-up game, uh, you know, Doom style. Um, sort of modern modern controls but um, a 90s shoot 'em up sensibility almost um, I'm I think I'm about four hours in on the gameplay I'm not particularly brilliant at these sort of things obviously so I've not advanced all the way through all the way through the game yet I think I'm in the third chapter possibly the fourth so you could probably you could probably do it quicker Oh no, chapter 5. I've finished the fourth chapter. There you go. So, you are a ninja slash assassin. And, uh, You've gone into partnership with a uh, demon in order to defeat the demon hordes that are currently infesting the town. Uh, now, there are a bunch of people there, so there may be some, some secret area over here, so let's just investigate. Can I get in? No. So, what about this one? No. There are secret areas and stuff. So it is worth having a poke around for some of these things. Where are you? Oh, these are bad guys. Let's, let's. These aren't the demons. Where is he? Come here, you. Did I kill them all? Evidently not. Oh, there's one. So let's switch to a gun for a bit. I hope your insurance covers loss of limbs. And possibly. Oh, nice. So, as you can see, it is possible to, uh, destroy the environment to kill people. There is an achievement for that even, I think. There's a choice of weapons. Let's do the health. There's uh, containers to discover um, discover ammunition and all, all that usual stuff. And then you can use the money. It's assuming. Just checking, I can't get anything. No. You can use the money to upgrade. Um, if I can remember the key. No. Let's just check the um, controls.
Yeah, key binding's not going to be the one. Set weapon, movement. Upgrades you. So that'll be the one to press. Let's have a look at that. So, key crystals that you uh, upgrade various um, various abilities. Uh, so, some of them you have to activate. So, this one I can heal myself by tapping DD and then holding the right mouse button. Uh, protection uh, blocks frontal melee damage AA then hold right, right mouse button shockwave I did that a couple of times no I didn't, I did the round one let's see if I can find that one no I've not done any of those yet healing protection ok Maybe that was a skill that I did. Let's have a look at the skills. Okay. Restoration. Circle of Iron. So, basically, when you're surrounded by enemies, tap, tap, and left mouse button, and whoosh, spin around with your sword. And then, last of all, uh, you can upgrade your weapons with the money you've selected. So, skills skills are based on uh, karma points, powers are based on key crystals, and weapons you upgrade with money. So that's the collectibles. Let's zoom into the next area. Let's get my sword back out. Here we go. Uh, this looks more, more like a... Great. I needed a change of pace. How far is the temple from here? Just up this hill. Third carnage on the left. Can't miss it. So that was the uh, that was the demon talking to him. A voice in his head. That sounds like demons. There's a demon. Oh, it's graveyard. So what I want to do, this this thing that we could see through the window there, was it here? I think I could see through the window initially. Oh here, yeah, that was it. That's a, that's a key crystal, I think. So we want to destroy that somehow. But we need to figure out how to get into the building first. So it's quite possible the map will loop around back to it. Um, so while I'm here, let's um, let's go back into the settings. And just uh, one of the one of the fun things about the game, if you get the special edition, which I think is three ninety nine rather than two ninety nine. You can get some extra extra weapons. So I can use the Walking Dead Ice Axe. The Saints Row one is uh, quite hilarious as well. If you know interview while humour. And to be fair, the game has a lot of juvenile humour. Both from Low Wang himself and the uh, the demon uh, who speaks to him. It's just scouting around. So the levels, they do tend to be fairly linear. There's not often more than one place to go. Oh, he's lagging it. Why is he lagging it? What's up now, grasshopper? There we go. What did that do? 
not very effective. I've never really worked out what the correlation between those uh, stars and uh, what I've done is. It's, it's never seemed that obvious to me. But you do get a little rating after. Ooh, there we go. After every bit of combat. Alright, let's, uh, let's do the next bit of combat with a um, different sword. Ooh. Let's do Hot One Miami. Cool. Whoops. Right. Uh, what was the heal thing? Can we remember? That was it. Right. Ah, interesting. I think I've used up all my key now, messing around like that. So anyway, up the steps, that seems to be the way to go. Oh, I can get health if I walk over that. There we go. All dead? They're all dead, Dave. Let's just check for um, specials. No. That's more or less the game. Uh, it does get a bit more frantic than uh, what you've seen so far. This is just the start of a level, so it's, it's uh, fairly easy paced. But uh, yeah, for two ninety nine or three ninety nine with the uh, with the extra swords, this is uh, something well worth checking out in the Steam sale. Get it, get it tomorrow before six or oh, today sorry yeah shadow warrior 299 